Today we are going to be doing, hands down, the largest unboxing that I have ever done here on YouTube. And I'm just so excited to unbox all these goodies with you all. And the reason we have so many things to unbox is because as I've mentioned on my channel before, I have an upcoming vacation to Singapore that's gonna be happening in the near future. And obviously the weather in Singapore is very different than the weather here in San Francisco. Singapore is going to be hot, humid and a little bit rainy at times when I go. And although it looks like San Francisco is a bit rainy right now, typically it's usually very dry, very chilly, just like a very temperate climate. So I needed to get some new, fun, lightweight, you know, vacation type of clothes. So I have got some great things that I've picked up from Celine, Saint Laurent, Zimmerman, a whole bunch of great brands. So let's get into the unboxing. And as always, I will have everything linked for you down below so that way you all can shop your little hearts out. And I've got links for everything so that way if you want to see the prices or anything like that, just go down below, click on the links, and you'll be able to see all the information about everything I'm unboxing today. The first up, we have some beauties from Zimmerman. And you're not going to believe it that these are actually going to be my first Zimmerman pieces that I've ever added to my collection. I always thought that Zimmerman was not sold locally here in San Francisco because I could only ever find like online returns when I'd go into big department stores. But it turns out there's actually a whole Zimmerman boutique that is actually tucked away on a side street in downtown San Francisco. And when I saw that boutique, I knew I had to go get some perfect pieces for Singapore and I couldn't believe how well their things fit me. So I was so excited about that. So let me show you what I got. First up, we have this absolutely beautiful scalloped midi dress that I am just so in love with. Obviously, quintessential Zimmerman. It's got a beautiful floral print here, which I think is floral, but not too much because some Zimmerman dresses can be a whole lot of print. So I like that this one is just like a regular floral print. You can see here that it has a scalloped neckline, which I think is really beautiful. It's got little adjustable spaghetti straps here. And then also it's got a nice little tie in the back. So you've got a little bit of an open back situation, which is beautiful. And this is a midi dress. And I will show you more of it in the styling video that I owe you all. But this is not quite a full length dress, but definitely not a knee length dress. And I will say for me, it is closer to the full length side of things since I am on the shorter side. You can see that the bottom of the dress also has the beautiful scallop detailing here. And you can see that it's also got some slits on the side, which is really beautiful. And I'm just so excited that I was able to find this dress because before I went to Zimmerman, I was really starting to lose hope for getting things for Singapore because everything was heavy, dark, sweater material. And so I'm so happy about this lightweight dress. And speaking of lightweight, I also got this absolutely gorgeous strapless dress here with a little bit of like a, a jabot type of ruffle. So it's got a lot of extra added volume here with a nice little sweetheart neckline. And it's just in this gorgeous sherbet color. So, I mean, it's just absolutely stunning. Um, I feel like this is a really easy dress to wear. This is something that I can wear during the daytime or even for like a casual dinner if I wanted to. You can either pair this with flat sandals, you could pair this with wedges or high heels and honestly be good to go. And so I am really in love with this dress. Next, I've got something that's peeking out. So it kind of wants to give you a preview of what it is that I got. But I actually got something that's a little bit of a departure for like the typical Zimmerman outfit. And it is this full length tiered maxi skirt. And this gives me such like little Lolita vibes. Like I feel like I would love to wear this in Spain or something like that. I just wanna wear this to dance. I remember doing a little shimmy when I put it on. Now this was available as part of a set. It also had a really beautiful fitted long sleeve top. The trouble was that together, both of them just felt like a lot of fabric. And so I really just didn't envision myself wearing both together. And since I'm going to Singapore, I was like, I don't really need a long sleeve shirt. So I just decided to get the skirt and I've already got a scalloped black tank top in my closet that's fitted and cropped that I plan to wear with this. So I will show you all either in my vlog or my styling video, how I wanna wear this skirt. And now I have to show you the itsy bitsiest, teeniest, weeniest little strapless bikini. And I have got to be real with you all. I cannot believe how much I like Zimmerman swimsuits. I am very particular about my swimsuits, especially because I have a smaller chest. Typically strapless swimsuits look absolutely terrible on me. Like I need usually like a little bit of a strap or something to give me a little bit of a chest. But if you have a smaller chest, 
definitely check out the strapless swimsuit from Zimmerman because they really like lift you and kind of pull you together and it gives you like a little bit of cleavage, which is so nice. But the funny thing is these are also great for women with larger chests too, because I have a friend who's, you know, she's got a bigger chest and she wears these all the time. So I just assumed that this was going to look bad on me. I thought you had to have a bigger chest to fill it out, but it turns out you don't. And also I will say I have never seen such a flattering bikini bottom. The way it sculpts in on the sides and the way it kind of like tucks down in the front here makes my butt, I, I, I feel like it makes my butt look really good. I don't know how else to say this. I know everyone's body type is different, but I am just so excited about how my little booty looks in this swimsuit. And next we have this gorgeous little, like almost like swing dress, also from Zimmerman as evidenced by the print. As I mentioned before, they've got a lot of prints in general, but I tend to gravitate towards the floral ones. Some of the other ones that are like birds and maps and all of that, those are a little bit too much for me, but I do love a good floral because they feel super feminine. But I love this dress because I love the lace neckline of it. I also like the V. I've talked about it in my videos before, but when you're shorter, it's really good to do a V neck. Clearly, I practice what I preach because it helps open you up a little bit. It makes you seem a little bit taller. So I love that. I also love the really thin spaghetti straps that cross in the back. Um, but something to keep in mind with this dress is that obviously since it's kind of open in the back, you'd either need to wear like some pasties, a sticky bra, or go braless with this one. So if you're someone that typically likes to wear a bra, I don't think that this dress would work for you. But I just love, again, like how lightweight and easy this dress is. I feel like I'm going to get a lot of good use out of it, not just while I'm in Singapore because it's going to be super hot and humid. This will be perfect to just throw on, but also for other vacations too, especially because it's it's not form-fitted. This is great on those days on vacation where you've had a lot to drink, you've had a lot to eat, and you're starting to feel like you've got like a perma food baby. This will be a great dress to wear on those occasions. And rounding out the Zimmerman portion of the video, I know I got a lot, but again, it was my first time and I was super excited that everything fit so well without needing any alterations. I got one more floral dress and this is just such a stunner. Let me show you, it's quite long in the length. I think on other people, it will be a midi. On me, it's pretty much a full length dress. And again, I know I have said this about, you know, other things in the Zimmerman haul, but there is something about this bustier, which by the way, has like no type of padding in it, no type of structure or anything. It's just the way it's been sewn. This makes me look like I have boobs. <laughs> so I think you all can see why I bought so much from Zimmerman. There's something about their clothes that really just enhance the way your body looks. So I love this dress. As you can see, it's got an open back with a little strap here, and then there's a little bow you can tie on top. I will say this is pretty hard to do by yourself, so I might need some help getting into this, which will be hard because I'm going to Singapore by myself, but who knows? And then it's got, you know, an open back in the rest of the dress, and it's just got this beautiful floral print that's almost like a watercolor type of situation, which I think is beautiful. Let me show you again close up. But if you want to see the print, you know, in more detail, again, click on one of the links down below and you will be able to see this dress in all of its glory. Next up, we have this absolutely beautiful, very classic, very understated knit polo shirt in a very lightweight knit material from Saint Laurent. And I got this polo from the Saint Laurent in Neiman Marcus, not the standalone Saint Laurent boutique, which I, I recently unboxed a bunch of stuff from there too. This was while I was also looking for stuff for Singapore. I say this is a little bit more covered, a little bit warmer, but it does look like it's going to be about 70 degrees on some days. So I am still going to take it. But I think if I were to pair this polo, you know, with shorts or like a short skirt, this would be a perfect thing to wear, you know, as a bebop in around the city, exploring, doing things like that. I think this is great and I am really in love with this color this is like not just a mustard and it's not a brown it's almost like a burnt mustard or like a burnt gold type of color I just think that this is a really beautiful polo shirt and I will tell you this is very like I feel like this is like quiet luxury type of thing but just be aware that it does have a little logo down in the corner so this is great if you want a little bit of brand recognition but if you don't just think about you know turning it under or tucking it in you know something like that this is a beautiful polo and i know i'm going to get so much use out of this not just on my trip but also during like my day-to-day -day life working from home this will be a perfect thing that i can just throw on for conference calls so i'm very excited about this polo now at first glance what we have here looks to be a very plain very basic halter neck top dress, you know, just like plain black from Proenza Schooler. But let me tell you, this is not 
your average halter neck dress. I don't know what Proenza is doing over there, but the fit of this dress is insane. It is so flattering. The fabric really sucks you in. It really holds you in. This is a long full length dress. I could not believe how well this dress fit. I will say I did have to have it taken in in the back a little bit just because it was a little bit, you know, too long for me, but that's pretty typical. I, I typically have to get a lot of alterations. This dress is just out of this world. I know it's really hard to see without me putting it on and I do still owe you the styling video, but just trust me when I say the fit of this is gorgeous. The fabric really pulls you in. It is so flattering. So if, if you're in the market for a dress like this, if you like any type of like bodycon or fitted dresses, you've got to look at the link below because this dress is out of this world. And now we are on to the Celine portion of the video and I have two things to show you all. And unfortunately, I don't have the first one in my possession. So I'm going to pop up a photo of it. It is this beautiful navy trapeze skirt. This is a perfect skirt for just about any occasion. So I am so excited to wear it in Singapore. I also can't wait to wear it once I'm back here in San Francisco. In San Francisco, I'm gonna be able to style it with, you know, like sweaters and, and chunky knits and, and jackets and things like that and wear it with some tights and boots. But in Singapore, obviously I'm gonna be wearing it with like more tank tops, things like that. The reason I don't have this in my possession is because it's getting altered and I'm going to try my hardest to get it before I go to Singapore if I have time this weekend. So I'm probably just not going to be able to unbox that here on my channel. But that is the first thing that I have from Celine. And the second thing is the last Celine item that's missing that wasn't in my possession from my recent big Celine unboxing that I did. Um, it was also something that was getting altered. Again, story of my life. And it is this beautiful bandeau mini skirt. <laughs> now this one had to get very similar alterations to the trapeze one, just a little pull in the back to kind of make it fit better around the waist. I will say I probably had more taken out of this skirt than I did with the other one because this is supposed to be worn as like a low rise skirt and I am not a low rise type of girl, let's be honest. So I had them really tighten it up so I could wear it a little higher up on my hips. But this is such a classic piece from Celine. This is absolutely beautiful. I'm not gonna lie, I've already worn this skirt once because it is just so stunning. I wanna see if they have any type of matching jacket so that way I could make it into like a very cute little skirt set. I think that that would be so nice. But this is just a beautiful skirt. And although it looks kind of short, honestly, because it's thick, it doesn't really like show anything, which I think is really nice. I just love the little golden buttons on it. Absolutely beautiful. And it's got a little side zipper here that is invisible. So that way you can easily get in and out. So you don't have to try and just like pull it on without unzipping it. So that is the last thing that I have to unbox with you all. I know I've been unboxing a lot of ready to wear lately. And I say that's just because, I mean, you all know I've got like a pretty sizable handbag collection. So I'm really happy with a lot of bags that I have. Of course there are more bags that I want and I am going to keep buying bags. But right now, you know, I, my little like hyper fixation is on clothing. So that's what I've been buying more of. And obviously I'm so excited to have all of these things to wear on my trip. I hope I'm able to get them to all fit in my suitcase. We know that's the real challenge when it comes to traveling. So let me know what you thought of this unboxing video. Let me know which of these items are your favorite, which ones are ones that you all would like to have. Definitely let me know down in the comments below. I always love hearing your thoughts on what it is that I get to share with you all. But overall, thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. And if you did, I would really love it if you could just give this video a little like. Just give it a thumbs up down in the corner below. And if you haven't already, what are you doing? You need to subscribe to my channel. So that way you can get all my latest content about all things shopping delivered straight to you. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Lily and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye everyone.